Welcome to day three of our week of prayer for Christian unity. My name is the Reverend Ray Borrett and I am the District Ecumenical Officer for the Cornwall and Isles of Silly Methodist District. We've been following the material laid out by our brothers and sisters in Burkina Faso. And the question I want to ask today, as we've been looking at the parable of the Good Samaritan over the last few days, is who is my neighbour? That's the question that the lawyer asked Jesus. He comes to Jesus and asks the question, and Jesus tells him that he is to love his neighbour as he loves himself. And he asks the question, who then is my neighbour? And that's a good question. I think it's a question we need to be asking ourselves on a fairly regular basis, because how often have we found ourselves in situations where we've gone, yeah, maybe not. How often have we seen people but not really noticed? Who are the people on the outskirts of our communities that we tend to ignore as we rush by, in the same way that the priest and the Pharisee rushed by the injured man in our account of the Good Samaritan? Who are the people that we see but not necessarily notice? So today, for instance, I was down in Asda. I was doing some shopping. And while I was there, I was chatting to a lady who was scanning. I was scanning my goods through the South Scan. And I was chatting to a lady because I happened to have been in the fortunate position where I needed to have my age checked. And if you believe that, you'll believe anything. So she came over. She verified who I am. We had a bit of banter and I joked and I said, do I look old enough? And she went, yeah, probably, mate. And we laughed and we got talking. And while we were talking, I asked her the question, how many times do you actually get to have conversations with the people that you help? No surprise that the answer to that question is not really. Very rarely, she said. Usually it's a case of, please, can you hurry up? I need to get my shopping done. Who are the people that we see but don't notice? I have a friend of mine. His name is Dave Lucas. He's the founder of an organisation called The Ordinary Office. And they are an online church that advocate for those who, for whatever reason, cannot get into our churches. It may be because they are of a different race. It may be that they are of the LGBTQ plus community. It may be that they have physical needs that prevent them from actually coming to church. People that we may walk past every day, but we don't see. Because if you're blind... You can't read a liturgy. If you're deaf, you can't hear the singing and the preaching. If you have physical needs, you may not be able to get into the steps, maybe up, up the steps into the church. If you are of a different race, or a different gender, or a different sexuality, you may not feel welcome in those spaces. And so we, as the people of God, need to be asking ourselves each and every day, who are the people that we don't see? And our prayer should be, Lord, open our eyes to those people that we do not see, that we do not necessarily notice. It's a difficult question for us to ask because it means that we need to take off our blinkers and we need to accept that not everybody is going to be like us. And that's a challenge for us, particularly here in Cornwall, where we tend to be fairly homogenous. It's difficult when we're faced with the question of who is our neighbour, particularly when our neighbour is different from us. But I want to finish this little slot, and I'm hoping I've left you some questions to think about, but I want to finish this slot with the prayer that's taken from the material used we're using for this week, where prayer of Christian unity. Let's pray, shall we? God of love, who writes love on our hearts, Instill, instill in us the courage to look beyond ourselves. Instill in us the courage to see the neighbour in those different from ourselves. Instill in us the courage to be the unexpected neighbour so that we may truly follow the Lord Jesus Christ who is our brother and our friend who sees all and notices all who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.